conditional convergence. So before doing conditional convergence, let us just revise what we did for unconditional convergence. So in case of unconditional convergence, if you remember that supposedly you have two countries, one is a rich country, other is a poor country. Rich country has the higher amount of capital stock with it. Poor country has the lower amount of capital stock with it. But the savings rate, population growth rate, depreciation rate, technological progress, all that is same in both the countries. That is an assumption. Now, because poor country has a lower capital stock, so its marginal product of capital is going to be higher. While rich country has a larger capital stock, its marginal product to capital is going to be lower. Right? So what is going to happen is that because poor country has, a, has the higher marginal product of capital, so the growth rate in the poor country is going to be higher. Rich country has a lower marginal product of capital. So rich country's growth rate is going to be lower. And this is going to create a catching up effect. Poor country will grow faster than the rich country and eventually both of them are going to converge towards the same equilibrium. Right? They will converge towards the same steady state level of per capita. This is what unconditional convergence is saying. So remember, in case of unconditional convergence, the savings rate, population growth rate, depreciation rate, technological progress, all that is same. But countries have different capital stocks in the economy. Rich country will have higher capital stock. Poor country will have lower capital stock. So you know this from your simple micro course that uh, when the capital stock is going to be lower, the marginal product is higher. And because of diminishing marginal productivity of capital, when the capital stock is going to be higher, marginal product of capital is going to fall, right? So that's an, and because the return on capital on the rich country is going to be lower, so, can, I mean, rich countries will also find out the places where the return on capital is going to be higher. So what are, what are those places where the return on capital is going to be higher? Poor countries. So the capital is going to flow from rich to the poor countries. You with me? So this is what is unconditional convergence, right? So I've just told you that unconditional convergence hypothesis is based upon the assumption that the technology is same, savings rate is same, depreciation rate is same, population growth rate is same. Do you think for all countries, all of these things will be same? And you think that the technological diffusion is going to happen so quickly that the technological development in US, it could be comparable to technological development in Chad, an African country, or technological development in US is going to be uh, equivalent to technological development in some South American country or Latin American country. No, right? And because of this reason, unconditional convergence hypothesis uh, is supported by very little empirical evidence. So this is not supported by the data, right? Here comes conditional convergence hypothesis. Conditional convergence hypothesis. So what is conditional convergence hypothesis? So supposedly there is a rich country, there is a poor country. Rich country has different level of savings rate, population growth rate, depreciation rate from the poor country. So they're differing in terms of their savings rate, population growth rate, depreciation rate. But the technological progress uh, or the technological level is same across both the countries, right? We have done this in solo model with technological progress that uh, when you will find out the long run steady state uh, capital, capital labor growth rate, small k dot by small k, that is going to be equal to A, right? By the rate of technological progress, growth rate in the technological progress, right? A dot by A, which is equal to uh, whatever you have assumed it to be. 
let's say a dot capital a dot by capital a is nothing but g so the growth rate in capital labor ratio is determined by the technological progress one so whether it is a rich country or it is a poor country the steady state growth rate is going to be same what is not going to be same is what is not going to be same is the steady state level of per capita so now rich country is going to converge towards its own steady state level of per capita income poor country is going to converge to its own steady state level of per capita income in unconditional convergence they were converging towards the same steady state level of per capita income also that was the point here there is a convergence but there is convergence only in terms of the growth rate right so let's say the convert i mean um, in the long run there is no growth right let's say or you can say uh, because we have assumed technology so the technological progress is 2% so in the long run both rich country and poor country will be growing at 2% that is the convergence in the growth rate but the rich country will have its own steady state level of per of per capita income and and poor country will have will have its own steady state level of per capita income that is going to be different this is not what we have assumed in uh, unconditional convergence hypothesis so this is where the difference is coming so in the long run what is happening is that the country is converging towards its own steady state one thing right and uh, if the country is very low below its own steady state then the country is going to go faster if it is very near to its steady state the growth rate is going to converge a uh, growth rate is going to slow down so i hope you know this that uh, supposedly you have this kind of the curve this graph would be familiar to you and this is the steady state right this guy is the steady state and supposedly if you start with this steady state uh, this level of per capita income then the growth is going to be more then as compared to if you start with this level of per capita income now here the growth is going to slow down right here the growth is this much here the growth has slowed down right so growth is going to be more if you are going to start at the lower level of per capita income or per capita capital labor ratio then and in case if the capital labor ratio is going to increase your growth is going to slow down that is one thing other thing is that the steady state growth rate is going to remain same for the countries as it is uh, equivalent to the rate of growth of technological progress right so uh, supposedly if the rate of growth of technological progress is 2% then every country is going to grow at 2% it is not that with the 2% growth rate the per capita income is going to be same for all the countries so for example let's say india is growing at 6% and if us starts growing at 6% then us and india's per capita income is going to be same no that is not the case the growth rate could be same but the per capita income is different so the main idea is that the conditional convergence hypothesis is the hypothesis of convergence in growth rates not in these uh, level of per capita income. so supposedly you have two countries one country is a other country is b country a has a low savings rate country b has also a low savings rate but just a little more than country a so conditional convergence hypothesis says that these are the similar countries so country a which is relatively poorer will converge towards country b which is relatively richer in the similar i mean in the similar group of countries fine but if you start comparing country a with a very rich country c now country c has a high savings rate do not expect that country a will converge towards country c right that is not what is going to happen uh, so can it will never catch up with a rich country which will have a high savings rate and this conditional convergence hypothesis is supported by the data right so this is uh, what i wanted to do in uh, this class uh, please read uh, uh, 
uh, chapter three of Devraj Ray and try to write any more important points if you want to write. Right? Please do write and do read the reading also. So do not expect that you just have to listen to the videos. You will have to read the reading. They are only supplementary. These recordings are only supplementary. They will help you in reading, reading, right? In reading that reading. So do not expect, ke, okay, we have just listened to the video. We do not have to read it. No. So once you listen to these recordings, understanding reading will be easier for you, right? So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Gautam.